Hi, in this video I'll give you an update on the recent development of ESP Toy. In case you have not heard of it, ESP Toy is a compact and low-cost development board for the very popular ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. It comes with a surface mount uh, Wi-Fi module pre-soldered to the circuit board, a number of useful components such as a color LED, a push button, um, USB serial chip, and a mini USB port. Um, this new version, numbered 1.22, uh, also comes with a, a LiPo battery jack and a, a LiPo uh, charging chip. So you can use it to make a standalone uh, battery-powered Wi-Fi gadget. Each time you plug in a USB cable, it automatically charges the battery. Um, and when fully charged, the green LED here will turn off. The Wi-Fi module on ESP Toy is pre-flashed with the latest Lua firmware and a startup demo. Now previously the startup demo had some reliability issues and didn't work well with all browsers. Uh, today I just updated the demo uh, to improve its reliability and also to give it a more polished user interface. So let's take a look. When powered on, the ESP Toy will create a, a wireless access point. Log on to this wireless access point. Uh, the default password is open door. Then open the browser and type in IP address 192.168.4.1. So this will bring up uh, the home page. The top of the page shows the analog pin value and the button status. They're updated uh, once every half second. So if I press the button on the ESP toy, you can see that the button status uh, updates accordingly. Now below that is a color table. Um, you can click on any point on the color table and uh, that will be used to and that will set the color of the LED on the ESP toy. So this basically shows the same capability with the previous version of the demo, but with a more polished user interface. If you want to try out this new demo, you can go to github.com slash racehobby slash ESP toy and uh, then download the uh, repository and next launch the uh, ES Plorer software. Uh, note that the ESP Plorer software had a recent update um, and so the user interface looks a bit uh, different from the uh, one I showed in the previous video. Um, so next you can uh, plug in a USB cable to ESP Toy and select the correct uh, serial port and then uh, click on open to um, connect to ESP toy and now you can use the button here this upload button to um, upload uh, the script and also uh, to upload any file you want to the ESP toy so in this particular case um, we'll need to upload um, init.lua, the script, um, as well as the esptoy.htm, so both of these files uh, to the module. And then after you're done, you can um, just uh, do a power cycle, and then this new demo should be running on the ESP toy. So some folks have asked me about the difference of ESP Toy with uh, Node MCU and uh, also Adafruit's upcoming uh, Haza. Um, I would say ESP Toy is quite similar to the uh, Node MCU. Both use the same USB serial chip uh, and have built-in USB port. Um, but ESP Toy additionally has a built-in color LED. Uh, LiPo battery jack and uh, uh, battery charger, um, so it's a little bit more convenient. 
And another difference is that the Note MCU has two rows of pin headers while the ESP toy has only one row. And the difference is that when you plug in the uh, Note MCU to a breadboard, um, because it's really quite wide, um, so this leaves no room to uh, on the bre breadboard to plug in additional components. And on the other hand, the ESP toy, since it has only one row of pin headers, you can just plug it in to the breadboard, and that leaves uh, plenty of space uh, on the breadboard to plug in other components. Um, and Adafruit's Haza is another similar product, um, but I consider it to be um, less convenient because it has no built-in USB serial chip and no built-in USB port. Um, so in terms of functionality, it's a very bare minimum. Another update I want to mention is that we um, have some uh, ESP toy printed circuit boards available for sale now. Um, these are overstocked PCBs that we don't plan to use anymore. The reason is that we are um, updating everything to use a micro USB uh, connector for the next batch, uh, while this batch still uses uh, the uh, mini USB port. And uh, so I've put these overstocked PCBs on Race Hobby Shop uh, website uh, for sale, and uh, they're only 10 cents each, so it's really a bargain. Um, this particular version is not only compatible with the surface mount ESP12 and 7 modules, but also it's compatible with the ESP1 uh, through-hole module that uses the 2x4 uh, pin header. So if you have the ESP1 module, um, you can plug them into this pin header here. Okay, the last thing I want to show in this video is a remote power socket that I have modified with uh, an ESP toy. Uh, so this becomes a programmable Wi-Fi uh, enabled power socket. So what I did was to take apart um, an off-the-shelf remote uh, power socket. Um, and this kind of socket uh, usually comes with a power supply section which converts the power line voltage uh, to 5 volt DC and uh, a relay that uh, is used to, to switch power. It also has either a radio frequency or Wi-Fi receiver chip uh, that sends control signals to the relay. And what I did was to remove the original receiver module but instead uh, solder three wires to an uh, ESP toy um, so these three wires uh, are the 5 volt ground and the re relay control wire. So by doing so, I can then program the ESP toy uh, to switch the mains power. And the idea is of course very simple, but, but using an existing power socket saved me a lot of time uh, in packaging the whole thing, especially considering uh, that this is dealing with power line voltage. Okay, so this is a quick demo that I wrote. Um, so basically, I am going to plug in this uh, LED light to the power socket to, um, you know, demonstrate the action. And so I'm going to plug it in to the power outlet. And uh, so once it's powered on, and you know, I log on to the Wi-Fi network, then um, so this is the basic interface. Um, I can wirelessly basically uh, put in a timer and then you know turn it on and then um, it can automatically turn off after a specified amount of time. With a little more programming efforts um, this can become actually a quite sophisticated and useful Wi-Fi controlled uh, power socket. Okay so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.